Hi, this cat is called sum without highest at lowest number. What we have to do is to create a function that takes a list with values, and we have to return the sum of that, but subtract the highest and lowest value from the list. How to pull that off? Well, here we are. I already had a glimpse at the test cases, and as you can see, if the argument is not a list, or if the list has a length of two or less, then we should return zero. So let's get it out of the way. Let's print the type of the argument here. Let's say that we have a non-type. Well, then I have the class non-type. And to exclude that, we can use an if condition. So if the type of the argument is not list, then we should return a zero. And let's say that we have a list with only two elements, this one. Then we can use the following, print the length of the argument, LAN, and then pass in the argument. And that would be two. So if the length of the argument is less than three, then we should return zero as well. So we can catch an empty list or a list with just one value as well like you see here. And then we finally arrive at our assignment to return the sum of the list, but with the minimum and maximum value subtracted. Um, yeah, let's take another list here. This one, that should return 60. Let's print the list here. And it's pretty hard to subtract the highest and lowest value because the list is kind of messed up. It would be handier if the highest and lowest value would have a fixed index. How can we achieve that? Well, with using the sort function. So we use sorted and we pass in the argument. And as you can see, it prints out the list in ascending order from the lowest value till the highest value. Yeah, let's assign that to the variable array. And now it's easy to access the lowest and highest value by the index. So let's print the lowest value and the highest value the lowest value would be the list and then the first index indicated by index zero and the highest value will be the last index indicated by minus one there we go let's assign this to variables as well this is the minimum and this is respectively the maximum And now we can finally return the sum of the entire list. How do we do that? Well, there's a built-in function sum, and then we can pass in the list 27, but we have to subtract the minimum and the maximum value. We have already cast them in variables. So minus the minimum, minus the maximum, and there we have it. Well, let's try this out and paste it in, test. There we go. I hope this has been useful and helpful. If so, please consider dropping a like. And hope to see you in another video. Ciao.